think you have a different attitude, too. I think people want to get it done. Mr. President, it's going to have to be you that brings the Republicans to the table on this, because okay. right now, the gun lobby would stop it in its tracks. I like that responsibility, Chris. I really do. I think it's time. It's time that a president stepped up. Trump even... Time that a president stepped up to take the freedoms away from the American citizens and disarm them. Trust the government, Trump says. Trust the government. He wants to be the one to take your freedoms away. It seemed to oppose his own vice president on how to take guns from someone identified as a possible threat. Allow due process so no one's rights are trampled, but, but the ability to go to court, obtain an order, and then collect not only the firearms, but all, any, any weapon in a position. Or might position. take the firearms first and then go to court, because that's another system. A lot of times, by the time you go to court, it takes so long to go to court to get the due process procedures. Uh, I like taking the guns early. Take the guns first, go through due process second. And the president. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What did Trump just say? Taking the guns early. Take the guns first, go through due process second. Wait, one more time. One more, one more time. Take the guns. Take the guns. Take the guns. See if they did a crime second. Yeah, yeah. You know, if you murder someone, put them in jail for 25 years first, and then do process later. Makes sense, right? Wait, hold on, hold on. What, what is this? What is this? What? what? Hmm. Can someone read this? What does this say here? Wait, hold on. Nor be deprived of life, liberty, or property without due process of law. Huh. What, well, what does Trump just say? Let's see. I thought Trump supported the Constitution. What? Wait, go. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I didn't catch all that. Go through due process second. Uh, I like taking the guns early. Take the guns first. Go through due process second. Wait, what? But. But this says. That someone shouldn't be deprived of life, liberty, or property without due process of law. So you're telling me Trump doesn't believe in the Constitution? No way. I thought he was all, I thought he was a conservative. I thought he supported the NRA. This is just too much for me to bear. Let's see what else he says. The president brought up an idea the NRA says it firmly opposes. Raising the age to buy assault weapons like the AR-15 used in the Parkland shooting to 21 years old. I would give her a serious thought to it. It doesn't make sense that I have to wait till I'm 21 to get a handgun, but I can get this weapon at 18. I don't know. This is a graceful watchman. Now, Trump, I would agree with you with that part. Yes. Uh, it doesn't make any sense to wait till you're 21 to get a handgun, but you can purchase a rifle at 18. I would agree with you there, Trump. It doesn't make any sense. What also doesn't make any sense and I'll show you real quick. Uh, forgot to pull it up before. Let's see if I can find it. What doesn't make sense is buying a gun can't buy a gun if you're 18 but you can serve in the military if you're 18 so we're gonna trust these young men to go off and buy a gun you're not buy a gun to own a gun not really own one but to use a gun to defend the nation to support your wars 
at 18 years old, fresh out of high school, to go fight for this nation. We can trust him to do that with an M16, with an M4, with a M249 saw. But we can't trust them. We can trust them to drive tanks. But we can't trust them to buy a gun at 18 years old for personal possession. Really? Really? The president told the bipartisan group he wants more than action. He wants bold action. A comprehensive bill on guns and school safety. He told one Republican leader to put aside a controversial pro-gun measure and to concentrate on something Democrats will support. You'll never get this passed. If you add concealed carry to this, you'll never get it passed. The president called the NRA patriots on his side. I'm telling you, I think they're there. I think they're there. Some of you people are petrified of the NRA. Can't be petrified. They want to do what's right, and they're going to do what's right. Because they're compromising bullshitters. At the end of the meeting, the president predicted success. We could all get together. We could put in one great piece of legislation, Chuck. I think that... You're going to have an amazing result in the vote. People want to see something happen. But they want to see something good happen, too. And one last question. Yeah, the NRA will certainly, will certainly support you. Because all the NRA does is compromise and compromise and compromise and compromise. That's all the NRA does, and that's all the NRA will ever do. Support gun owners of America. Support Jews for the preservation of firearms. They make great videos. I'll link one of those their videos in the description. Support those two. Don't support the NRA. Do not support the NRA. I say it again. Do not support the NRA. The NRA, and let me see if I can pull it up, but the NRA is an NGO of the United Nations. The United Nations is the biggest, the biggest gun control advocate on this planet. And the, United, and the NRA is a NGO of the United Nations. If you don't know what that means and what that entails, I suggest you do some research on it. Let's look at this video now. Let's look at the idiocy of our Trump. President, President Trump. Reminds you of Bush, doesn't it? Reminds you a lot of George Bush, doesn't it? Let's watch. Black market. You know, the problem, Diane, is that these aren't where you walk into a store or buy. These are where somebody hands you a gun and you hand them... Oh, no, the you go into a store and you can buy an, an AR-15. You can. You can buy the technology. You can? Really? I mean, you can buy all of these weapons. Well, this is what well. you're going to have to discuss. Huh. Yeah. Joe and Pat, you're going to have to discuss that. You'll sit down with Diane and everybody else, and you'll come up with something. And I think it... I, I really believe it has to be very strong. Wait, you can... You can actually buy these guns, you're telling me? It's, you don't buy them on the black market? You can buy them on a store. Oh, I had no idea. Well, I guess we're going to have to, you know, talk about it, and we're going to have to discuss things about it to, you know, get them banned. Get, you know, you can't buy them in stores, so we're going to have to discuss it, you know. Really? This is how far removed this president is from America. He doesn't even understand that he can walk into a store... In binary, he doesn't even know our own laws. And he's the elected, sworn into office, president of the United States of America. Completely, utterly ridiculous that we have a president so inept, so ridiculous. And things like that, that Trump did, reminds you a lot of George Bush. When he said stupid stuff like that. When he said stupid stuff like that. To where he just doesn't have any clue what's going on. No clue at all. 
How can we have a president so dumb? The president of the United States is supposed to be someone who's smart, someone who is intelligent, someone to look up to, someone to be like, I want to follow him. I'll follow him until I die. He should be the smartest, the highest IQ, the knowing what's going on. He's paid to know our laws, to know what's going on in the world, and to protect and defend the United States Constitution against all enemies, foreign and domestic. Yet you have people like me, I'm a nobody, correcting Trump on this. What has America turned into where we have back-to-back -back presidents that don't even know what's going on? That don't even know what the law is? That don't even know you can walk into a store and buy an AR-15? We really have presidents like this? I predicted this. And it wasn't on YouTube. I, I didn't post it on YouTube during the time, I don't think. But I predicted this and I told many people. Trump isn't what you think he is. He's just going to tell you what you want. He's just going to get the conservatives to trust him. And then he's going to turn. Just like George Bush did. Just like George Bush did. George Bush ran on small government. Conservative principles. And look where George Bush got us. He expanded the size of the government. He got us into two wars. And the government, the federal government expanded four times the size under George Bush. He introduced more welfare and social security and Medicare and Medicaid laws. Yes, George Bush did all of that. He passed the initial version of the NDAA, the Patriot Act, all this stuff. Obama ended up renewing the Patriot Act, or I mean the NDAA, but... The Fast and Furious operation started under Bush. Let's read here. What did our founding fathers say? The conventions of a number of the states, having at the time of their adopting of the Constitution, expressed a desire in order to prevent misconstruction or abuse of its powers, that further declaratory and restric restrictive clauses should be added, and as extending the ground of public confidence in the government will best ensure the beneficent ends of its institution. Wow. The preamble to the Bill of Rights. Right there. Wow. That says it all, doesn't it? Says it all, ladies and gentlemen. Now, I want you to notice real quick the language they, our founding fathers used. The eloquent of their words. How they spoke, how they wrote, compared to the what we see today, compared to our words. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, time changes. People evolve, yes. I don't want to necessarily use the word evolve, but yes, we evolve as a species. We become more intelligent, technology advances. Times go on. But nowadays, I don't think we're getting any smarter. I think we're getting a lot dumber. A lot dumber. Many of you would agree with that. But then you still say, let's take the guns. The Constitution was written 200 years ago. But then you admit that you see these children eating Tide Pods, and you're like, yeah, they're dumb. Okay. You admit that children eating Tide Pods today kind of means that Generations are getting more and more dumb, but yet then you go off and you say, well, it, it was written 200 years ago. The founding father didn't know what they're talking about. Really? Let's go on. A well-regulated militia being, the necessary, being necessary to the security of a free state, the right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. Being necessary to the security of a free state. Many of you say, let's take the guns, make us more safe, more secure. Founding Fathers said, 
It's necessary for the security of a free state that the people bear arms. And it says, shall not be infringed. Now, if you don't understand what this preamble means, let me a little bit explain it to you. So, the Founding Fathers and the framers of the Constitution and the states at the time would not accept the Constitution without a Bill of Rights. And that's what they're telling you. That the Constitution wasn't enough. Without the ten, first ten amendments of the, bill, of the Constitution, which is now a part of the Constitution. First ten amendments is a part of the Constitution where the rest of the, amend, the, rest of the amendments are not a part, part of the Constitution. And they are amendments to the Constitution. First ten amendments are a part of the Constitution. And would never, the Constitution would have never been accepted by the states without the first ten amendments. And we would be 50 countries right now. Or probably less, but, you know, it would have been 13 countries back then if they didn't all agree that the, in the first ten amendments. They wouldn't have accepted the Constitution. Because, like it says, further declaratory and restrictive causes, clauses should be added. As ex and as extending the ground of public confidence in the government. Public confidence in the government. That they won't take your guns away. That they won't take your freedoms away. That they won't become another tyrannical government like they just fought. So, to extend the ground of public confidence in the government, the first ten amendments should be added. One of which is the right of the pe people to keep and bear arms. When will you people wake up? When will you people wake up? Wake up. I'm going to link a couple videos in the description for you to watch, as well as this video. But I'll read it to close off. I'll read this article from the Chicago Tribune. Trump doesn't care about Republican values. He just wants to be liked. And before I read this, I'll say I did predict this about Trump. Now, I knew Trump was a bad just based off one little thing he said during this campaign, that if you're on a terrorist watch list, okay, you're on a terrorist watch list, you shall not have the right to bear arms. That's what he said. And now even the NRA, which I don't even support the NRA, but even the NRA went against Trump on this during the election campaign. But yet conservatives dismissed it. Conservatives trusted him and now look what kind of president we have agreeing with DACA agreeing with gun control from this little minion right here globalist 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 lies America oh America you have been led to the slaughter again you have been tricked Oh, again. Oh, little sheeple, when will you learn? When will you learn how much blood needs to be spilled until you stupid Americans learn? How much? How much? Because... You think the mass shootings going on are bad? First of all, that's from our government. Our government is most definitely behind these mass shootings. I'm not saying people didn't die. I'm not saying that it didn't happen. What I'm saying is the story that they're telling you is not the real story. Look it up. Use your common sense. Oh, but YouTube's banning these videos. Oh, sorry. Oh, you can't look it up anymore. All right. Watch my previous videos for that proof of that. But look it up. I'm not saying people didn't die. I'm saying that the official story that you're told is not true. And, you know, there's multiple shooters in all these situations and that it has something to do with the government. It's not just a lone wolf crazy person. It, the government's doing it. Okay? This is the same government that did Waco and murdered over 25 children. 
all right? And over 70 people in total, all right? This is the same government that killed Randy Weaver's wife, Vicki Weaver, while she had a baby in her arms. This is the same government that did this. And they haven't been able to do things like that again, totally in public, and this is government doing it, because of the militia, and because of things like the Bundy Ranch, because of things like the Oregon Pine Mine, or the gold mine, and because of things like this where the militia has set up and being like, nope, we're going to point guns at you until you leave, and you're not going to harass these people anymore. Just like the Hammond family, where the Hammond family, where they're trying to put them in jail for a second time on the same offense, because apparently they didn't serve enough time, and they said no. You're not gonna, you're not gonna imprison these people again. Reasons like this, the militia. You haven't seen these uh, catastrophic events since the '90s, all right? But oh no, militia's terrorists. Yeah, terrorists defending our border, not letting the drug cartels in. You know, stopping people, innocent people, from going to jail. Yeah, t domestic terrorists. Keep believing those lies. Keep believing those lies. Terrorists stopping looters in Ferguson, stopping looters in Baltimore, stopping these rioters from looting businesses. Terrorists, terrorists, terrorists. Keep believing that. Keep believing that. I'm going to read this article before I go off on more of a tangent. In a White House meeting Wednesday, President Hillary Clinton expressed a willingness to ban assault, right, assault weapons, tweaked Republicans of being afraid of the National Rifle Association and mused aloud about bipartisan due process to seize firearms. Oh, my bad. That was President Donald Trump. Wednesday's cabinet room, gun control roundtable left gun rights advocates, NRA members, and rank and file conservatives, the few, the few of us left anyway, aghast that Trump not only isn't who he claimed to be on the campaign can campaign trail. We already know he holds almost no firm political con convictions. But that, what passes for a Republican policy proposal in his administration is up for grabs, and that is his most loyal followers don't really seem to care. The whole thing prompted normally Trumpist Breitbart News to run a Trump the gun grabber headline, but that handwriting is too little, too late, and unlikely to further cool Trump's lukewarm approval ratings. Trump's underwater overall, but still enjoying robust support among Republicans. I need to slow it down a little bit. It's the same whiplash old school Republicans felt during last year's Obamacare repeal fight. You know, when the president described one version of the congressional GOP repeal plan as mean while berating Republican members of the Senate and House via Twitter and calling legislative audibles at exactly the wrong moments. Ditto recent public political wrangling over DACA. Build the wall and ship dreamers home. Trump must have called out sick of the day that bill of love Trump sat in the room full of legislatures and said he'd support the uh, the clean DACA bill, sans border security provisions on Democrats' wish list. White House advisor and immigration hawk Stephen Miller probably dry heaved when he heard that one. For a minute, Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer and House Minority Leader Nancy Pelosi probably couldn't believe their good fortune until Republicans grabbed Trump by the labels and made him snap out of it. Trump is a creature of pre-naturally attuned to the shifting moods of the public and deeply influenced by what he sees on television. Isn't that a common trend amongst Americans? What you see on television is reality. Nowadays, whatever you see on the internet is not... I know, less and less people are watching television now, but there's still popular media on the internet. For him, ideology and philosophy do not mediate politics. Politics is mediated by TV. Specifically, how he personally portrayed on TV, how he is personally portrayed on TV, 
he thinks he is or should be the star of every story, a presumption that has, that's been challenged in recent weeks. Since mid to late 2015, with only a, a few interruptions, he has, indeed, been the media's focus. Coverage hasn't always been favorable, but to him, all attention is good. For the last two weeks, however, the Parkland, Florida school shooting has been driving the news and cab cable talk show programming he claims not to watch has been wall-to-wall -wall Parkland and gun control. And you'll notice whenever, you know, one of these events happen, whether it's the Boston Marathon, you know, whatever it is, the only thing that these mainstream media, media publish 24-7, all day, every day, is about these shootings. To get you to believe the story. Oh, if they, you know, Hitler said if you repeat a lie long, um, enough, it's going to be perceived as truth. I'm paraphrasing, but. You know, repeat a lie over and over again and people will believe it. You know? You now, the master of mind control, Hitler, told us this. And this is what the mainstream media is doing. They just run these stories over and over and over and over until you believe it. Any doubt in your mind will just soon go away because the mainstream media just repeats it and repeats it all day, every day. Go watch any, I'm sure, even today. The shooting happened, what, a week or two ago? Even today, you know, probably 50% of the hours will be covering the Parkland shooting or gun control. Guaranteed. Go turn on CNN, NBC, or even Fox News right now, and you'll see. What are they talking about? Parkland. <clears throat> Trump has seen the fresh-faced, well-spoken Parkland kids with stories and genuine of genuine horror they witnessed. They pushed for strict gun control, including the banning of semi-automatic rifles, particularly AR-15s, and for a general rollback of Second Amendment liberties. Creature of emotion and instinct that he is, he is being fairly easily convinced by the fake news liberal media that gun control's moment has arrived. We saw this here. Saw this right here. Trade on something Democrats will support. You'll never get this bet. If you add concealed carry, it's a very good lunch. Toward the end of the meeting, the president predicted success. We could all get together. We could put in one great piece of legislation, Chuck. I think that... Heard it from him? You heard it from the Chicago Tribune. That he is, he's being fairly easily convinced by the fake news liberal media that gun control's moment has arrived. You heard it from his own mouth, ladies and gentlemen. So eager to look at the, to look like magnanimous dealmaker that he clearly is not and will never be, he sat down and told Senator Dianne Feinstein, of California, that she should roll her assault weapons ban into the languishing center right Mankin Toomey gun reform bill, and she should could barely contain her glee. He sat down and told Diane Feinstein that she should roll her assault weapons ban into the languishing center right gun reform bill. She could barely contain her glee. Read that over and over. Pause the video and read that over and over until you understand. The problem, at least in this case, is that on top of the long-standing partisan impasse over Second Amendment rights, you've got Trump long-standing pattern of shifting under the influence of news of the news cycle and whatever he perceives as the popular view a make-believe strong man whose idea is being the people's champion and is to mold himself Plato like to conform to whatever pleases the audience immediately in front of him he believes in nothing 
He has infinite moods. As a longtime GOP consultant, I've always had half-joking, half-serious rule about political candidates and elected officials. They can be tough, smart, decent, or talented, but of those traits, they realistically only get to choose two. Trump, entirely too generous in our politics, is a successful politician embodying none of those. Embodying none of those. None of those. He poor, he's poorly briefed, malleable, crass, and dishonest. And all he cares about is how he comes across in the press, which makes it damn near impossible for any self-respecting conservative to understand him. Anticipate his positions or, his trust, or trust him on policy. In every legislative fight, the president is a weak ally and an unreliable narrator, except for tax cuts. The easiest thing in the world to sell. Who doesn't want a bigger paycheck? He can't sell what he doesn't understand. And that's a lot. He doesn't understand a lot, ladies and gentlemen. Over the course of his life and career, from guns to health care to abortion to the Iraq war to whether the federal government's monthly employment numbers are phony, Trump hasn't been even close to the get-it-done, never-back-down super negotiator of his daydream. As near as I can tell, his deep deepest convictions are that of the best stake his deepest convictions are that the best steak is an overcooked one and that there's nothing that doesn't look better with his name, in all caps, appended to it. He's a gun grabber today. Give him a day or two, and he might think about grabbing something else. That says it all. That says it all. I didn't mean for this video to be half an hour, but if you're still here at the end of the half an hour, I thank you. you clearly... You either care about this country or you're beginning to care about this country. And for that, I thank you. God bless each and every one of you. Stay safe.